Hello everyone, my name is Anton and in today's video I want to give you a quick tip on how you can take Excel, so if you're working in Microsoft Excel, Google Sheets or something like that there and you want to transfer that data into your note um, that it you can easily kind of copy and then paste uh, those particular rows and columns from Excel into Obsidian really easy. But before I get into the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps the channel, you know, get get out to people just like yourself looking for content like this. And I really appreciate it. All right. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Um, you should already know that if you're dealing with Obsidian, it has a default format that leverages Markdown. So there is a table format or syntax for um, within Markdown and it looks just like this here. You can see it here in this template file that I have. So, but to type this stuff out, it, it does get a little bit uh, messy if you have a large table with lots of rows and lots of columns. This does take time. Now, if you are already working within Excel or Sheets because you want to take advantage of maybe formulas over in that environment, be able to quickly kind of get your Excel sheet done, get the content is active in that space. But then you're creating either, you know, a document that you want to capture what you've created in Excel and then bring it over into a document within Obsidian. Um, using a, a nice little plugin will help you out. And let's go and see what that plugin is. So if I come in here and I type Excel, <clears throat> and what we're looking for is this Excel to Markdown table. You can see I already have it. Um, I already have it installed here. You can see by the indicator, it's not enabled though. If we walk down the, let's see the plugin here it gives you some information around the actual plugin and what it can do. And yeah, I'll go ahead and enable it. We'll go ahead and cancel out of here and let's go ahead and make sure here. So yes, it is enabled. We'll hit the X and we will X out. We'll create a new document. And what I want to do is go ahead and hop over to Excel. So here I have somewhat of a complex Excel spreadsheet, which, you know, if you work in Excel, this is not too, too bad for Excel, but if you want to recreate this particular type of, you know, table within Obsidian, um, it's, it's, it's a lot of work. So I would not kind of actually myself try to even replicate something like this in Obsidian, um, especially with the formulas that I have set up in here. But I do take, take this uh, information and I create reports off of it. So if I want to report on the information that I have in here, I can quickly kind of create a document by, you know, copying and pasting whatever field that I want. And I'll just take a small subset of that and just paste it right here into and into Obsidian. So I can come in here and maybe, you know, I can have some kind of heading up here and then, you know, some other information here and then, you know, have the different fields that are required um, for this particular document or report, right? Whatever you want to create. Now I can go ahead and take more fields here, but I do want to show you that if we come here, let's take this entire income with all of the totals at the bottom and I'll paste that in there. We can see what that looks like. You can see this goes all the way across. It creates, puts in the heading that I had in there before. Now, one thing you might want to notice is in Excel here, um, I don't have any headings on here, but I did uh, pull out and copy a part of this, this Excel table that has you know a heading here in this starting field. Uh, with this plugin, what I have found is if you have an empty field here, and I want to go ahead and capture, say, all of this information. Let me paste this in and let's scroll up a little bit here. I'm going to paste. And if I paste, you can see that the formatting 
was not recognized. So you have to make sure that in the top most left corner of what you are copying from Excel has some kind of heading in it, right? So if I come in here and I just put item, I copy the same information now with something in that particular field and I paste it, we can see that now we get something. So if you're using the plugin, that's just one thing to look out for. I'm not sure if that's something that um, maybe the developer can work on and fix. There's another thing also. So we do have this particular field where it's merging um, a lot of other columns within this particular row. So if we take this and we copy that out and if we paste it, what happens is the merge actually disappears. And you know what? I've never actually looked to see if there was a an actual formatting in Markdown to create a merge field or to have a you know one field that goes all the way across without the different columns here. Um, there might be one, but um, if you know of one, go ahead and put it down in the comment field of the video. I'd love to know. Um, I can also go search for it, uh, which I might do after this video. But this is kind of a quick rundown of an uh, easy way, again, to copy and paste from Excel or a, you know an Excel type application and into Obsidian so that you can capture this, this information um, and, and basically save time, right? So no one really wants to go in and do all the formatting that's required for a table this big. Now, just you know, a short note on another plugin that I do have a video for. So if we come in here, and I don't even have to really search for it, it's right at the top here, this advanced tables. So this is another plugin that, you know, if you really do want to get a little bit more advanced and working with tables within Obsidian, you can use this particular plugin to do that. Now, it, it's a bit more involved, uh, so if you are a little bit more advanced uh, with Markdown and you want to get better functionality within this creating your tables, then this is that plugin for you. Okay, so I'm not going to go deep into this plugin. Again, I have a video out there that you can actually uh, check out if you want some more details, or you can just come here to the plugin area go to their github page and read up on this here okay so that was a quick rundown of the excel to markdown table plugin to help you be a little bit more efficient in working with tables and bringing your information from excel or sheets or something like that into obsidian you found this video informative go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel and until the next time have a nice day